In this video, we're going to learn how to use the built-in all function in Python. So the all function is going to return true if all the items in the iterable object it's passed as an argument are true. So for example, if we pass the all function a list, which is an iterable object containing true, true, and true, all the items in this iterable object are true and the all function is going to return true. We can see that if we output the return value using print. So we'll have print and we'll save the program and we'll try it out and here we'll get true. Now, if all the items are not true, the function is going to return false. So here, if we have false and then save the program and try it out, now we'll get false. Now the values in the iterable object don't need to be exactly true or false. They could be values that evaluate to true or false. So for example, the string ABC evaluates to true. So if we save the program and try it out, we'll get back true because all the items in the iterable object are true. Whereas the empty string evaluates to false. So now if we save the program and try it out, we'll get back false because not all the items in the iterable object are true. Now, if the iterable object is empty, like an empty list, the function will also return true. So if we save the program and try it out, we'll get back true here. The function will work with any type of iterable object. So for example, we could pass a set with one, two, and three, where one, two, and three evaluate to true, and then if we save the program and try it out, we'll get back true. If we have one, two, and zero, where zero evaluates the false, then if we save the program and try it out, we'll get back false. Notably, if we pass a dictionary to the function, it's going to check that the keys are true, not the values. So for example, if we pass in a dictionary with the key one and the value false, and the key two and the value false, both the keys evaluate to true. So if we save the program and try it out, we'll get back true. If we had a key like zero that evaluates the false, then if we save the program and try it out, we'll get back false. Now, one good use case of the built-in all function comes from combining it with a list comprehension when doing so, we can often accomplish in one line what would normally take multiple lines and a loop structure like a for loop. So for example, let's say we have a list of strings. We'll have strings is equal to, and we'll have apple, and we'll have apply, and we'll have application. And let's say that we want to check if all the strings in this list begin with a PPL. We could use the built-in all function and a list comprehension to accomplish this. So here we could have a list comprehension where we have s dot starts with a ppl and we'll have four s in strings. So this list comprehension is going to give us back a new list containing the items either true or false resulting from starts with being called with the argument APPL for each string in this strings list. We'll output that resulting list with print. And if we save the program and try it out, we can see that every string in that list does start with APPL. We could use the all function to verify this. So we could have here if, and we'll call all, and we'll pass it this list. And if this is true, then we'll output here that all the items begin with APPL. Otherwise, we'll have else, and we'll output here all the items do not begin with APPL. So if we save the program and try it out, we'll get that all the items begin with APPL. If we had a word that didn't, like against in there, and then if we save the program and try it out, now we'll get all the items do not begin with APPL. 
And what's nice about this is that we've accomplished in one line in that if statement condition, what would normally take something like a for loop to go through each item in that list and check for this property. So this is how we can use the built-in all function in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.